Excuse me, mate. Do you know where I might find my ship? Once again, it seems someone's absconded with me boat. Like the sea. It means escaped, taken, uh, slipped away with. Look it up, mate. Wait, I'll use me trusty compass to show me where to find her. Come on, love, show me where I really want to go. Hmm. Evidently, I need to take a heading toward that old looking machine. Oh, mate, what's this? It's a ticket kiosk. Must I really know all the intricacies and whatnots of how it works? Well, where are you headed? Apparently north. Like the sea. Well, if you want to ride Front Runner, you got to pay for a ticket before you get on. Oh, so this is how one books passage on that fine-looking vessel. You look like a smart lad. Show me how it's done then. Well, sure. First it says touch screen to begin. So you just touch the screen. Next, select the type of ticket you want, like a one-way ticket or a round-trip ticket. Tap the square you want. And remember, it's no big deal if you make a mistake. There is a back button and a cancel button. The next screen has you choose your fare, meaning the price, based on your age. If you are between 6 and 64 years old, choose the full fare. The reduced fare basically means grandma or grandpa can ride for less, and if you are disabled, you can ride for less too. Another nice thing is kids five or under, if they are with a paying rider, get to ride for free. Tap the square you want. The next screen asks you if you already have a pass, like from tracks, the bus, or maybe from your university. Choose the one you have or choose no. Next, choose how far you want to go. In other words, the price changes based on how far you're going. Riding one stop is less than going all the way north or all the way south. Just tap the square for where you want to go. The next screen asks if you want to buy more than one ticket for the trip. If you do, tap the purchase additional ticket square. Then tap the plus sign for how many people you are paying for. Then tap the proceed to purchase square. If you are paying with a credit or debit card, make sure you tap the credit card square first, then insert your card. If you're paying with cash, put your bills in here and your coins in here. And at last, your ticket, your credit card receipt, and any change will all come out in the bottom tray. And you're ready to go. Good luck finding your ship, mister. It's Captain. Captain. Wait. Do you know what happens to scallywags who don't look both ways before crossing the tracks to get to said vessel? How else do you think they lost their legs? Giant crocodiles with clocks in their bellies? Wait, that's another story. No matter what station you're at, you will see no pushing, no shoving, no shenanigans of any kind. Oh, and do you know why people stay away from the yellow line? Oh, that's a point well made. People don't want the train taken off their hats, or their heads for that matter. Crossing past with this thing would be like being hit by 53,000 cannonballs. And that's a chance not even I would take, mates. Wait for the train to completely stop, and if people are coming off, let your fellow shipmates come off first. No worries, mates. You'll have plenty of time to board. To open the door, push the button on the right. Of course, wait for people to come off. Once the door is open, step aboard your steel hold beauty. Oh. Watch that gap, mate. Wouldn't want to get your foot stuck in there. Once you're in, find an open space, sit down and enjoy the smooth sailing. Oh, one tempting bit of information about this lovely vessel is that it has two levels, above deck and below. And that bit of information leads us to the code. The best pirates do not push or shove or run up and down the stairs between levels. Oh, and when you do sit down, don't put your foot on the seat. Would you want to sit in the last thing some bilge rat swabbed up from the deck? Didn't think so. Keep in mind, mate, many a land dweller love to take their bikes on board, read, or use the computer. So stick to the code and respect other people's goods, Salve. The guards here don't take kindly to monkey business, so you might see yourself walking the plank, watching one's transport sail away, shrinking in the distance. Hmm? Oh. Hmm. According to this, we should be arriving shortly. What? You didn't think I was tech-solving? Pirates need to remain educated, 
pay attention, stay ahead of the world. <clears throat> Pardon me, this pirate needs to freshen up a bit. Could you direct me to the nearest lavatory? The loo? The kaibo? Yes, the bathroom is in the south car, bottom level. Thanks, Link. <laughs> One eternity later. You can move between cabins if you need to, but don't make a game of it. The doors are heavy and hard to open. Remember, this vessel moves and flexes between the doors, so keep your wits about you and mind your balance. Be careful. Hmm. According to my compass, my ship is at this stop. Now remember what I told you about letting people off first. Be a good bloke and let the babies and backs go first. Pardon me, have you seen my ship? A, a ship? What kind of ship? You know, a, a ship in a lagoon up by a beach. Oh, you want to take that bus right over there. Thank you so much, mate. Success. I can smell it. Once again, it seems someone's absconded with me, but... If you want to ride front runner, you gotta pay for a ticket. Look both ways. Stay away from the yellow line. The best pirates do not push, or shove, or run up and down the stairs between levels. The bathroom is in the south car, bottom level. Success. I can see. I finally found her. My ship. This ain't no flying